Welcome to this class on the essentials of vaccine design. Today we will learn how to predict an antigenic region of a viral protein. So to begin with, I have selected Dengue Virus 2 Thailand, which is uh, the full genome is available at the NCBI Gene Bank. So this is the reference sequence. So when we click on this reference sequence, we will be provided with the Gene Bank format. And let's look at the entire protein. Now this virus is unique because it consists of a polyprotein, which is translated in the host cells and then specific enzymes will cleave this polyprotein into its individual components. Now I need to determine which part of this protein is antigenic. So I will randomly select a region of this protein. For instance, I select this, I copy, and then I transfer the sequence into this software. This is the software from Immunomedicine Group, which can be applied to predict anti antigenic peptides. So I paste the sequence and then I give a short arbitrary name. So in this case, I give it Dengue virus and I submit. Now this software will deliver an output. This is the result of that search. So as you can see, the x-axis indicates the sequence number and the y-axis indicates the antigenic propensity. So you can see the number one over here. Everything above that is a likely antigenic region. So if you scroll down, you will see the predicted antigenic determinants, which basically can be then applied to develop a vaccine. So these can be either synthesized as peptides and tested in an animal model, or they can be cloned and expressed in Escherichia coli, especially the longer ones, and applied for animal testing. So this is a short introduction to prediction of antigenic peptides. We will discuss more in today's class. Thank you for watching.